Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 20 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We will start with Solana at number 11, followed by Polygon, Litecoin, Polkadot, Avalanche, Shiba Inu, and then we'll end it with Leo Token at number 20. Let's get straight into it. Solana against BDC. We had a target over here way, 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 way back uh, in December 2022, 20th of December 2022. Merry Christmas, everybody. And we stuck. We stuck by our targets because, because we noticed the head and shoulders over here. And yeah, so when you see a head and shoulders, this means that uh, this is a very bearish uh, reversal type of a chart pattern, right? And we had a target and we are falling lower and lower, right? Uh, I think I noticed a lot uh, on Twitter that a lot of people, you know, at this area and at this area, they were calling for, oh, Solana. Yeah, but technically, technically, we're still under the skinny pink line so our bias has always been bearish we are open to the possibility of things turning bullish but we need to see it on the charts first so far we have not seen any clear bullish reversal there's no clear bullish reversal yet are we oversold yes we're severely oversold can we still continue dropping lower yes of course we can but my opinion is that, yeah, based on what I think, right, of course, I could be wrong. We may not hit targets, right? We might just stop at this noisy area over here. I still think that there's more downside to come for Solana, especially against BDC. And we are going to stay with our bearish bias for Solana against BDC as long as the skinny pink line is still above the price, right? I mean, of course, we might just start rising up from here, right, for no reason. But the point is, no, I don't think so. I think there's still more downside. The best, to be honest, the best thing that could happen for Solana is that we just keep dropping lower and lower and lower and lower without forming a second mountain because this is already a mountain by itself. If we get a second mountain, we get a third mountain, ladies and gentlemen, this will become a descending triangle. And more likely than not, we will be heading towards 2000. I'm not saying we need to get a, a bearish continuation chart pattern to head towards 2000, even from here we can just zip all the way down to 2000 right when things fall they fall very fast uh, and that's why you know shots you know there's also another meaning for shots as in like when it falls it falls very in a very short time right when it goes up it goes up in a very long time i mean of course this is nonsense but the point is then it kind of makes sense in that in that way right uh, it takes some time before it rises uh, when it falls it falls very fast right Shoo! a small little consolidation Shoo! right so this is like a staircase down it's a staircase to hell Right, highway to hell, not exactly a highway, but there's a staircase to hell. So my point is that there's still more downside for Solana against BDC. And this is the danger of knife catching, right? Sometimes you might think, oh, there's a very strong rally coming on. This could be the bullish reversal. You make a move over here. And then after that, uh, look at where the price is right now. 48% down. If you bought at the very top over here, you would have 50% of whatever that you have invested at the top. Gone, gone. If you had, let's say, for example, 10 BDC at the top. Right now, you only be left with 5 BDC. The remaining 5 BDC, I mean, has already evaporated and you're left with only 5. So it's like, yeah, so it's like you, you cannot be too quick uh, to make a move because you still don't see any clear signs of uh, bullishness yet, right? So for Solana, Solana, way back uh, during the 2021 bull run, Solana was just insanely bullish, right? We were above the skinny pink line. You see that? And we remained above the bullish, uh, the skinny pink line, right? There was a period of consolidation over here. But eventually, we continued higher because we are above the skinny pink line. So we remain with our bullish bias for Solana against BTC. And the same thing, the moment we cross the skinny pink line, we switch our bias to bearish and we remain bias bearish down for Sol BTC. And yeah, so look at this. We just kept dropping lower and lower and lower. So that's why as a trader, you must be able to open longs as in to trade towards the upside and also open shots to trade towards the downside. You want to be profitable regardless of whether if it is raining or whether if it is uh, sunny, right? Or if there's rainbows, butterflies and yeah, rainbows, butterflies, birds, bees, everybody is making money, right? But very few people have the skill to, you know, uh, make profits when uh, the markets are down because it's a little bit more dangerous because you need to, um, open trades uh, on margin you have to borrow funds so that's the danger you have to trade on leverage so yeah but when you are going up you don't need leverage for solana we have already reason i don't know what's like eight thousand you don't need leverage at all honestly uh, you can just buy and keep it hold it wait until it's uh, time to sell and then you can you know sell things off right 
buy, sell. I mean, of course, it's not so easy as buy, sell, right? But the point is that you can hold it you know, for a much longer period. But when it is shorting, you have to be very quick. Once the targets are hit, pump, you're out. You wait for the rally, and after that, uh, as things were to drop again, you go in, you go out, right? Go in, go out, yeah, so that's trading for you. My point is, my point is, uh, I think there's still more downside to come for Solana against BDC. I don't really like what I see for Solana BDC, so be careful about rushing into a trade too soon, right? Uh, where's this? 20th of the, okay, let me just fact check myself. Let me just fact check myself. 20th of, of December, 2022. Uh, let's go to December 2022. Whoa, it's been a long time. You can see the, <laughs> the, the, hey, okay, it's here. December 2022, is it top 40? Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look. Solana! Welcome back. Let's get straight into it. Today we're going to be doing the top 40. It's not here. Um, top 40, is it top 30? I think Solana will probably be in top 20 though. Welcome. Wrong. Is it? Oh, they put chapters. Dot. Hmm? Litecoin. Okay, wait, hang on. Okay, this is gonna take too long. <laughs> okay, then, well, let's just uh, move on, right? Solana against USDT. Uh, where are we? Yeah, so for Solana against USDT, ta -da! we had a target way back again, 15th of uh, November, 2022. 15th of November, uh, this was actually coinciding with the time when FTX was collapsing. And because of that, uh, we got two very big targets. Uh, one was for FTT, which hit targets very fast, and the other one was actually for Solana. Uh, 15th of November was around the time uh, when FTX collapsed, and this was a long, long target that we had. And yeah, of course, uh, we didn't really hit targets for Solana, but FT FTT we did. Anyway, there was a strong rally that came on, and you might be inclined uh, to make a move towards the upside. Even for Solana, uh, against USDT, there was a possibility of a symmetrical triangle completion over here, right? A, B, C, D, E. We were expecting and hoping for things to switch bullish for Solana, uh, but it didn't come. It didn't come. It just didn't happen. And so what happened? Yeah, we tripped lower. We already took out these lows. And so this invalidates the potential symmetrical triangle for Solana against USDT. And I feel like uh, Solana... <laughs> Again, the, the hope, the hope, again, is that we do not form mountain ranges because if we start forming mountain ranges, then very likely uh, Solana could be heading lower, right? Uh, case in point, look at this mountain range here. Left shoulder, hit, right shoulder. Yeah, $2. Doesn't mean we're going to hit $2, um, but we're expecting things to remain bearish for Solana for some time. We're still under the skinny pink line, right? So again, the moment we cross the skinny pink line, you'll be wise uh, to switch uh, bearish. Right, so, you, so I mean, sure, you could argue that uh, there were some uh, rallies above the skinny pink line, but it was just temporary before Solana got slapped back down, right? Uh, and it got slapped again here, we're getting slapped again. But this slap is not as brutal as this slap or this slap, right? This is just a mini slap. So the, the, hope, the hope is that we don't consolidate. We don't want to see mountains. The moment we start seeing mountains, more likely than not, uh, we should be heading into uh, single-digit territory again for Solana. So the danger uh, still is there that uh, Solana could hit much lower. Of course, all of this would depend upon BTC as well, uh, and also on Binance not collapsing. The point is that uh, even for a trade towards 222, we still don't see the uh, the continuation chart pattern yet. It's just not really that obvious yet, right? Uh, but of course, the moment we start seeing mountain ranges, we could be inclined to put on shots for Solana. So be careful about rushing to a trade too soon for Solana because we still have downside targets. Matic against BTC. For Matic against BDC, we have hit targets! So for Matic, we had a 2650 target way back on the 20th of March 2023. Uh, I think this is recent, so I think I would probably have uh, chapters for this. Matic, let me just see, 20th of March. Let's go, 20th of March, Bitcoin to dominate, but... Ta -da! If Bitcoin were... Okay, wait, get the chapters, we go to... Polygon Matic, 
Uh, and then we just against Bitcoin. So if you look at Matic against Bitcoin, we are touching the skinny pink line, which is very bad. Uh, we don't want that to happen. Because if you're touching the skinny pink line, this would mean that we're breaking back down under the support. There was a huge, huge uh, series of values, right? Two values, very nice, big values. And we broke out of the two values. And these two values gave us a target. So this is what I'm talking about. Two values so broke out. We're expecting consolidation yes. and continuation towards the outside. But if Bitcoin were to reclaim its dominance um, towards the upside, uh, then Matic is probably not going to be doing well. So Matic could be heading back down to 2650. Yeah, so that's why. Uh, we were saying that uh, the moment we take out these lows, right? Uh, it'd be very bad. Very Two, six, bad. Five, zero. So, yeah, 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 this could be a very um, <laughs> bad time for Matic against BDC. Uh, we might not just stop at 2650. No? We might still drop a little bit lower, right? Uh, and my fear is that uh, Matic might form mountain ranges over here and it could still hit lower, right? Uh, yes, that's the fear. We could we could form mountain ranges over here, right? You were saying that this would get. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we could hit much, much lower. So, there you go. There you go. Uh, we were expecting things to you know, stay, we we're expecting Matic to stay above the support, but then the moment we cross the support line, yeah, and after that, you know, we were also under the skinny pink line, so things have uh, switched bearish ever since crossing the skinny pink line, right? We also broke support, so, yeah, so that's why, yeah, targets were hit. Ta-da! Anyway, anyway, point being that um, there is also that possibility that uh, Matic could turn bullish uh, bullish in a sense that we could be doing something like this right but we have to we have to see a strong rally back towards the resistance for us to flip bullish for Matic BTC otherwise uh, we're already under the skinny pink line uh, and there is zero support over here right a little bit over here so we might take a break a little bit here but uh, the next level of support uh, is over here at 681 where 2004, 2004 to 681 is a long way down it's 73% more towards uh, the yeah the noisy area over here so as long as we're under the skinny pink line our bias is bearish and it remains bearish until we hit it back up for Matic BTC Matic USDT we are yep very close to targets uh, we had a target over here on the 6th of june 2023 and we are about to hit targets again <laughs> the big fear that we have for matic is that we form mountain ranges over here i, I feel like mountain number two is already done right mountain number one mountain number two <laughs> do you see that if, if we drop lower we hit targets at uh, 38 cents and then we see a strong rally right this could be mountain number three and this could be a very big descending triangle huh? and Matic has zero, almost zero support, some here and there, but we could just waterfall down towards 5 cents or 60 cents right now. There's danger, there's huge danger for Matic. Uh, our hope, <laughs> our hope uh, is that we see strong buying pressure, right? Strong buying pressure or we don't form mountain number two, we just zip down. Ah. Then this will become a different story. And this could uh, mean that uh, Matik could be in a falling channel. Uh -huh. This could be a, a potential reversal coming on. Again, we still need to see buying pressure coming on for Matik. So yeah, we still remain loyal to our targets at 38 cents and we would expect more downside. And I don't think the selling is done yet. We might see some consolidation around this area. We're not so sure how it's going to look like. It could be a little bit higher before we drop or we could just start forming mountain ranges over here. But we are still expecting more downside for Matic against USDT. So you need to be very careful about rushing into a trade too soon for Matic. Matic and Sol is just <laughs> two peas in a pot, right? Uh, seven days. 23, 22, uh, one of the highest. It's the highest. 23 and 22. Mm, Sol and Polygon is not doing well. And it has already pushed the Tron into the top 10. So, yeah, very funny, right? Anyway, the point is that more downside is to be expected for Matic. So be careful about rushing into a trade too soon for Matic. Litecoin against BTC. So for Litecoin against BTC, yeah, we were saying that we had a rally right towards the skinny pink line. We were hitting the skinny pink line. Yes, we saw another rally uh, taking out the highs over here. So this is a higher high. But we were saying that uh, we were right at the skinny pink line. And the moment uh, we cross the skinny pink line, we will remain with our bearish bias. And we were saying that maybe, maybe we might uh, go higher, but we won't be going far because uh, the skinny pink line was, will prove as a uh, signi significant resistance. And so, yeah, uh, right now we are falling lower. Any tradable chart pattern? No. But uh, there, is, there is fear, right? Again, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Mm -hmm -hmm. This mountain range just collapsed, right? Is this a mountain range as well? Yeah. Left shoulder, hit, right shoulder, collapse. Anything here? No. Anything here? Yes. 
So watch out, watch out for mountain ranges. Uh, they tell a tale of bearishness. Litecoin against USDT. Here we are for Litecoin. Uh, we had targets towards the upside. We were we were very hopeful uh, for uh, Litecoin, and we were hoping hoping for Litecoin uh, to continue right at this point of time to do something like this and to just break higher. Why? Because of the halving narrative. But not everything goes according to plans. So yeah, so down we go, and we are again touching the skinny pink line again. So it's only a matter of time before we cross back under the skinny pink line. So. Yeah, there is, there is danger, there is real danger uh, that Matic, to be honest, if you look at the bigger picture, Matic is uh, potentially forming a gigantic, absolute gigantic um, head and shoulders. If you were to consider this a left shoulder, very likely uh, we could be in the midst of completing a head. We could get a right shoulder over here, that's the end of crypto. We go back into a uh, single digit territory. That's the danger. So, yeah. We're not collapsing as bad as Polygon or Solana, right? Uh, 23, 22, we're only like 10%. Uh, but again, uh, th there is real danger that this could uh, complete as a rising, rising channel, right? Uh, something like that, something like that. <laughs> it's not exactly textbook perfect, but my point is that, yeah, we, we could be collapsing lower from here, right? So. Uh, we're not saying that uh, these targets are uh, invalidated, right? If we take out these lows, then yes, it'll be invalidated. But again, you, just by looking at the charts, does this look more like valleys or mountains to you? It looks more like mountains, right? Look at this mountain, right? And this whole thing is a mountain, 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 mountain. So things are turning bearish uh, for Litecoin. Of course, if things start. Um, rallying right if you see a strong rally coming on for Litecoin then yeah we might start seeing valleys but now it's mountains so potentially much more downside for um, Litecoin against USDT and this whole thing could tie into the uh, five wave move towards the downside right first wave second wave up third wave down fourth wave up fifth wave down and we complete the head over here oh boy this is gonna be brutal Brutal, brutal, brutal. Uh, and if we were to see a rally, right, let's say 2024, everyone will be expecting new all-time highs. But what if you don't get all, uh, new all-time highs? What if it's just a small rally for Litecoin, right? And we complete a right shoulder. Oh boy, this is going to be brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. So um, yeah, we'll take things one step at a time. Uh, in terms of tradability, the chart pattern for Litecoin just really isn't that obvious yet. So... Yeah, we're going to be very, very careful about rushing into a trade too soon for Litecoin at this point of time. And Polkadot, dot against BTC. So for dot against BTC, oh boy, it just keeps dropping lower and lower and lower. Any clear signs of a tradable chart pattern? No. Are we still under the skinny pink line? Yeah. So that's why we remain loyal and we respect the skinny pink line. We remain bias bearish for dot BTC. No, no clear targets. Dot against USDT. Yeah, we were saying uh, that there is a possibility, right? Things could turn bullish. How could things turn bullish? We get an ABCD squeeze over here. Boom! We break higher for dot against USDT. But it, it didn't happen. What happened? We took out the lows over here with this uh, little week down. Pew! We took out these lows, and so the bullish possibility. Uh, has evaporated and again we had a target over here 20th of September 2022 it's been nine freaking months a baby has been born uh, and yeah we still remain loyal to our targets at three dollars and 33 cents we have four dollars and 61 cents it's just not too far away it's just a one one dollar dip uh, about 30 percent to targets do you think it's possible that we hit targets yeah any clear bearish chart pattern over here yeah there was a descending triangle over here right you see this? Mountain 1, Mountain 2, trrr, very small Mountain 3. Uh, there was actually a very small head and shoulders over here. Very small one. Pew! Anyway, it fell lower, right? Um, yeah, and again, this could tie into the 5 wave move. You can also argue this is 5 wave, right? But I would say, yeah, this is also a potential 5 wave. Something like that. Again, it's, it's not really again uh, that obvious, but we're still under the skinny pink line. And we remain bias bearish for dot against USDT and we have a target over here at 333 and we still expect more downside for Polkadot against USDT. Avalanche, Evex against BTC. 
So this is uh, AVEX. Again, AVEX has already hit targets. Uh, we had a target over here, 4,007. When did we have this target? When did we have this card target? 19th of September, 2022. When was this? September was again, nine months ago. Okay, let's go back to September. Let's go back to September. Do you remember the 21st night of September? We were partying the night away. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey. Suddenly, September. <laughs> Okay, where's this AVEX? Let's see, where's AVEX? AVEX, AVAX. Hey, AVEX to $9. Uh, let's see. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Ooh, look We're going to take a look at Avalanche AVEX <laughs> coming at number 17. We're going to take a look at a BDC pairs for AVEX against BDC. It's so way, way back in January 2022 before I went missing for six months. Yeah, we saw uh, the signs of a bearish trend coming, right? There was a one day Grace Stone Doji. This is what you call it. I guess bearish for AVEX, which means that we are expecting largely bearish for uh, AVEX against BTC. We have a target fresh out of the oven for you at 0 0.0047, which means that we... 0 0.0047, we had this target way back, uh, yeah, eight, eight, nine months ago. We are expecting ago. AVEX to continue dropping towards 0 0.0047. Uh, as long as we're under the same incline, uh, we shall remain biased bearish for AVEX against BTC. Could we start turning bullish from here? Yeah, sure. Uh, this could be a wave one. Yep, so there you go. We got mountain ranges. This could be wave two, we go for three, four, five. This is how we turn bullish. But uh, if you were to turn bearish, then we should be able to spot uh, mountains, and after that, so we start collapsing, right? Uh, the were there mountains? Yeah. Well, there were mountains. Not really the obvious, but there were mountains. Very big mountains. One, two, support line over here, break. Hard retest, down. 4,007, hit. Again, there's also danger over here. The hope, the hope is that we don't get any rally, right? Because this whole thing could be a head and shoulders. And could hit much, 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 much lower for AVEX against PDC. The best thing that could happen for AVEX is that we just keep dropping no right shoulder, just keep dropping, then yes, this will not become a, uh, a, a, a bearish <laughs> a bearish chart pattern, right? And this could be like a falling channel kind of a chart pattern and we could be heading higher, right? Something like that would be much better, right? So, something like this, so you see, falling channels usually break higher. So this whole thing could also be a very big uh, falling channel, right? If you could just drop, we don't want to see any uh, rallies over here. Don't want to see any strong rallies. Because this could come back down and this could form the right shoulder, right? So again, it, it depends on the wheels of AVEX, but ta -da, we just hit target. So I think that could be a rally. So I, I hope this is not the strong type of rally, right? If it is, then uh, there could be much more downside, but yeah, I can't say for sure. I suspect we're going to be taking out these lows, at least these lows at 2996. So 3000 will very likely be breached. Right now we're at 4004, so yeah, it's not too far away. AVEX against USDT, here we are, again, even for AVEX as well, uh, we were hoping uh, for AVEX to form a very nice potential ABCDE, right, but uh, it didn't come, and anyway, uh, yeah, we've already taken out these lows, so it invalidates that possibility, and anyway, we have two targets over here, one is at $9, and another one is at seven sixty. we got this target way back uh, in September, 2022, the same video uh, over here, where is this? Bro. is the target for AVEX. Uh, this is another 46% more to go for AVEX. So $9 is the target for AVEX. Bullish reversal. Uh, and so uh, 40 is two dots. These two lows here to be taken out. And so $9 is the target for AVEX. Uh, September year, we got this uh, in September. And yeah, we're almost at target. And we were saying that very likely the wheels are going to take out these two lows. The two lows over here, very juicy lows. Again, if I were to be aware, you have to put yourself in the mind of your... Uh, opponent, right? <laughs> uh, if I were to be a whale, I will very likely uh, want to take out uh, all the stop sell orders uh, that are around this area so that uh, I can, you know, <laughs> but, uh, eat up everybody who is uh, selling over here, push the price higher, sell it at the top uh, to, you know, beginners, right? Uh, my point is, my point is, it's not looking good. And you can also consider this as a potential break for the head and shoulders which means that uh, AVEX could drop really, really low, right? Uh, the next area of uh, um, support will be at around $4. Potentially, we could be heading towards $4, but no hard targets uh, for $4. The only hard target that we have is $9. The next one is at $7.60. So from where we are to the final target is potentially another 34%.
34 percent that's still quite a lot so be careful be very careful about rushing to a trade too soon right uh, you, you know you might hear uh, people telling you we are already down uh, how many percent 90 percent do you think it's wise uh, to be dollar cost averaging when we're already down 90 percent you know logically speaking you might think yeah uh, it makes sense but what you don't realize is just because we're down 90 percent doesn't mean we can't drop another 90 percent so if you look over here let's say we drop over here right uh 90 percent this was where 90 percent is at 13 dollars say and after that uh, you see a strong rally you'll be like okay maybe at 20 dollars uh, make a move but what you didn't realize was we're still in a bearish trend and there was still more downside to come and you start uh, buying big chunks of avex at 20 dollars and what happened yeah right now we are at 11 dollars 20 dollars to 11 dollars is almost 50 percent if you had 10,000 at the top over here, it would only be worth about five, six thousand. You'd be in trouble uh, if you were to drop all the way to four dollars. So that's why it's very important uh, to observe the trend. Um, again, you, uh, because AVEX is uh, an, an altcoin uh, and you don't know whether if AVEX is going to be uh, reversing back up, right? There are many altcoins, let's say for example, way back uh, in 2017 uh, that were touted to be the Ethereum killer, you know, to replace uh, crypto, it is going to be, yeah, there's so much hype around it. Well, where are those coins right now, right? EOS, where's EOS? All right, um, yeah, anyway. NEO, NEO is a Chinese Ethereum killer. Where's NEO? Mm. Anyway, my point being that, um, yeah, I think Avalanche uh, still has small downside, so be careful about rushing to a trade too soon for AVAX. Shiba Inu, Shiba against USDT. Here we are for Shiba Inu. Oof, we're dropping towards uh, our target over here. 420. And yeah, we're at 672. We dipped to the very low of 542. Very close, uh, very, very close uh, to 420. Again, I still think that there's more downside. Um, big, big mountains over here. We were entertaining the possibility uh, of things turning bullish, right? If we could just do something like this, A, B, C, D, E, we break higher. Right, uh, but we need to see that strong rally come on. But the strong rally didn't come. What happened? Yeah, we waterfall. We waterfalled down to 550. So Fort Woe is not too far away. Um, from where we are to Fort Woe is another 37%. So much more downsides to be expected. Could we see some sort of a consolidation over here first uh, before heading lower? Very likely. So yeah, again, more downsides to be expected. 37%, um, which is still quite a lot. <laughs> So you need to be very, very careful. Not not all meme coins are bearish. There are certain meme coins that are bullish, uh, that we feel as a, the boys and I in Patreon. We have, a, we have a feeling that things could be heading bullishly. So not all meme coins. Uh, maybe Shiba Inu has already uh, exhausted its uh, resources, right? The whales have exhausted their resources by pushing the price higher. So the whales might be switching to other uh, meme coins to push higher. But uh, yeah, maybe one fine day Shiba Inu might recover and reverse back up. But again, we don't know how much lower it's going to go. Are we going to stop at 420? Are we going to drop to 320? How about 220? Do you think we could drop to 110, 120? Again, we're not too sure. So we're going to have to take things one step at a time for Shiba Inu. And next step is more downside. So be careful about rushing to a trade too soon for Shiba Inu. Leo token, Leo against BTC. So for Leo against BDC, yeah, we still expect more downside. Uh, we are expecting Leo to drop to 0 0.618 uh, around this noisy area over here. Uh, again, this is a rising channel. Rising channels usually break lower, right? Falling channels or falling wages usually break higher, right? Some, something like that, something like that. So rising channels usually break lower. It's just the opposite, flip opposite, right? You can just inverse the chart, right? If you are not used to shorting, inverse the chart, uh, and then you will be able to tell much, with much more clarity, oh, it's going up, inverse. And then you inverse it back to the correct uh, side. Then yeah, more downside, more downside is to be expected for Leo BTC. Leo against USD. Here we are for Leo USD. Uh, I don't know what the wheels are trying to do, but again, we're under the skinny pink line. So the lesson is we respect the skinny pink line. We wait for things to start switching bullish first. Right, the moment we cross the skinny pink line, that's it. Flip bullish consolidation. And we just kept going higher and higher and higher and higher until, ah, oh, look at this. This is a clue. Yes, we rally back up. We touched it. We rally back up. This is like a second chance to get out. 
third chance to get out. So you'd be wiser to get out of uh, Leo at five dollars and seventy-two cents right now. Five, six, somewhere under six. Right now we are three fifty, uh, and more downsides to be expected. Again, we are also expecting a zero point six one eight to be hit on the USD pair. No guarantees. We have no hard targets, but the possibility still remains uh, that Leo could hit uh, towards zero point six one eight. Again, we're not too sure ourselves, so we're going to take. Things one step at a time. As long as we're under the skinny pink line, we remain bias bearish. Of course, if we uh, rally above it, then we might we might uh, consider you know uh, things to be bullish, depending on whether if this is a convincing uh, move above it, convincing break, or this is just a peekaboo, and then we come back down. So yeah, Leo is still bearish, and we remain uh, bias bearish for Leo, and we will expect more downside, right? Potentially towards two dollars, three fifty, two dollars, yeah. So there you go. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's Top 20 Crypto TA. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta-da.